let's, uh, even, uh, this is even one video where I'm going to have to contradict one of, uh, uh, Fuji's own, Fuji's own, uh, representative shooters, uh, Zach Arias, I love him to death, I got nothing wrong with the guy at all, he said one of the shortcomings of Fuji is, um, its lack of, uh, flash or speed light options, and while it is true that, uh, you know, Fuji, well, Fuji's later this year going to come out with their own unit, it's going to be powerful, it's going to be made by METS, so I forget the exact model number of it, but as it exists right now, there are no limiting options on Fuji. And I see this stuff all over the web, and I had to make a video about this because this is just not what he said. It's just all the Fuji shooters in general. Uh, they're just, well, you're smoking crack, okay? Let me put it this way. Um, Nikon has got the best speed light options available for it of anybody, even hardcore and anti-Nikon people that are on, on the Canon's fence use Nikon speed lights because they're so incredibly reliable. I use Nikon speed lights with the Fuji system too, um, but I have no limitations. Let's actually let's talk about some of the options and some of the uh, BS slash twaddle regarding uh, Fuji's uh, supposed limited flash options. Right now I'm using a Nissan i40. This is a TTL speed light. It's kind of small. It's actually really well made. Um, right now I have it in magic mode. You see the little blinking light. I made a video about this. You can type in uh, Fuji high speed sync or Fuji HSS option. And uh, right now I'm at uh, four thousandth of a second. And yes, I have high speed sync options up to one four thousandth of a second. And uh, at decent distance for like uh, shooting a uh, heavy backlit um, outdoor scene, like say you're taking a picture of someone on the beach and the composition that you want is the sun over their shoulder, but it's just too heavily backlit. And uh, even though you want to be shooting in f2.8, you can't go past um, 100, 250 of a second. Now your flash sync option, this isn't an issue. I'm shooting at one four thousandth of a second, so you're not going to have any issues shooting whatever depth of field you want for high speed sync uh, options and availability. This is using, by the way, the pinout on uh, Fuji is a Canon pinout. Now, it is the case with basically uh, all uh, cameras, uh, Canon, Nikon, and Fuji, that the center pin is fire. So it doesn't matter what speed light that you're actually using. If you're basing it upon, uh, like these uh, flash cue triggers, you see there's only one pin on these. It doesn't matter. This little sucker will work on a uh, most Sonys. There's one goofy ass Sony that it doesn't work on, but who gives a damn about that? Works on every Nikon, Fuji, and Canon. Center pin out just means fire. It just sends a pulse to fire. So. In that case, when it comes to wireless triggers, when it's only sending information to fire, it doesn't matter. These are a set that I don't travel without anymore. I was uh, carrying around a pocket lizards, or what you uh, call a pocket wizards. So that's one option right here. Um, why I didn't have the speed light mounted on the camera is because, unless you're a photojournalist, there's no good lighting that comes from sticking a speed line on top of your camera. I've made God knows how many videos about that. But here is a little flash cue trigger. Everybody should buy a set of these for 42 bucks. The only limiting factor on these, they take a little watch batteries, which isn't an issue. You can get an awful lot of pulse blasts out of that little uh, 2035 watch battery, and that watch battery is just cheaper than dirt. The only limiting factor is, since it runs off a watch battery, uh, for it to recharge to send out another pulse to the uh, wireless uh, speed light, which I have the receiving trigger on over here, it needs about a second recharge time. So what the only option that you don't have is that uh, you don't have the option to uh, do uh, um, flash bursts. You know, you can't roll them off like you can with the pocket wizards, which run off of uh, two uh, AA batteries. Not really an issue, but if you want that, that's what a pocket wizard's for. And I've been using pocket wizards for ages. i got a ton of pocket wizards. This is the Nissan i40. It's got a little secret button that you hit here, hold in for four seconds, and it lets you, uh, high speed sync, by the way, is just a incredibly um, a short duration, but multiple uh, flashes actually sent as the shutter curtain moves. The first cut shutter curtain opens, and the second shutter curtain closes, so it's actually going as far as the light, so that's actually how high speed sync works. So I have no limiting issues with high speed sync with the Fuji, and Nissan's coming out with a much more powerful unit. Uh, I've got like 30 Nikon old speed lights. The older ones are the best because like some of these SB28s are incredible. 
And uh, even the, some of the uh, the uh, Fuji professional photogs, uh, they use, I've seen them all use the Nikon speed lights because they're smart, like me. Uh, <laughs> they, they know to use Nikon speed lights. Um, right now, I'm uh, going to uh, turn on uh, my wireless triggers on these, a little flash cube. You get a, a, a pack of these, which is a transmitter and a receiver uh, for, uh, I had to put this on backwards like an idiot. Uh, you can get a pack of these for uh, 45 bucks. Had too much caffeine today. One 20-35 battery on both of these. And let me drop my power. See, the, all these uh, people uh, with Fuji, meaning Fuji shooters, they're, 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 they're bitching and pissing about uh, you know the notion that there are no options uh, for Fuji when it comes to uh, flashes and that's just uh, absolute hockey puck. Uh, by the way I've uh, shown this in another video the reason why I have a cord on this so I can actually uh, toss it over my shoulder like a saddle like a messenger bag or a, a saddle bag so when I'm actually out and about like I was today I've been out today most of the day shooting I'll actually hang this off my side that way I don't have to stick it in my pocket I just reach down and grab it you know, come up and uh, pop off a flash like that. Boom, nailed it. You do not have a high-speed sync options doing that. You know, you only have uh, your maximum uh, flash sync of a 250th of a second. And we dial in selection here, say, that needs to be about 1 16th. Select, yeah, ISO 800 right about here. I'm not limited in what I can do with my Fuji. There's all these Fuji photogs out there that are having a pissy fit saying that uh, they don't have options for, well, I went off Fuji, I love my Fuji to death, but I, I don't really have options when it comes to uh, speed lights. I'm about to show you a third option here. And that's just not true. I mean, I, I'll tell you the truth. I, I have no limitations between my Nikon and uh, this Fuji system as far as what I can do with it. Let me uh, turn that off right now and let me show you a third option. I got a lot of uh, professional studio strobes, including a white lightning, a pair of light, white lightnings. I'll toss out the 1300 watt seconds. I don't know if you know what uh, 1300 watt seconds is, but I mean, it's like uh, the, uh, the sun itself landing on Earth uh, is so much power, like the Einstein's back here is 640 watt seconds. So you can really drop some serious light. I got a cyber commander here. I'm not going to drop in the batteries on it right now, but it's actually a uh, a wireless uh, transceiver unit. It works exactly the same on this Fuji as it does on a Canon and on an Icon. Okay, I can sit here and dial in uh, my uh, my uh, power on 16 different wireless professional uh, studio strobes. You know, no, not that anybody's going to have a 16 set up. I mean, four at max, and even then, really two. I can I can uh, dial in my, my modeling illumination, dial it in, dial it up, and I also have a light meter on the back. I can take it on handheld, and not that I use this light meter, but you know, this works exactly the same on this Fuji as it does on my Nikons. So all these people that are kind of uh, you know got their diapers in a kink, and you know they got their uh, their panty thongs up their butt crack with Fuji, and I'm not, I'm not calling the Fuji people whiners, but they're like, I love Fuji to death, but they don't really, this is what they all say. I love Fuji to death, but they just don't really have any uh, speed light, and you know, they don't have great lighting options. And that, that's not true. Um, well, Fuji themselves don't have, you know, a big honking like an SB910 equivalent yet. It's coming later this year. It's coming! Okay, I know for a fact it's coming. Metz is making it for them. It doesn't matter. I don't know if most people don't even know what auto mode is. See the little sensor there? It actually turns it off. Auto mode is as good, in many cases, better than a TTL. You know, professional studio strobes don't work off TTL. You know, you don't need TTL flash photography. Um, look at Look how simple this is. This is the size of a dice cube. Everybody should have a set of these. I made a video about these a few months ago. These don't get in my way like the pocket wizards do. You know, like I said, the one disadvantage is that I can't do burst photography like continuous low or continuous high with these because they run off of a watch battery and they take about one second, right about one second, to recharge 
to have enough power to, boom, send out a radio pulse to the receiver on the base of the uh, speed light. Not an issue. Um, if I know I have that problem, I'll put on pocket wizards on here, and these work perfect on the Fuji. So the point is, is that all the Fuji whiners out there, wah, that say that uh, they don't have options for their Fuji system, well, you just, you know, you're, you're smoking crack. You're just, you're either misinformed or you're just lying through your teeth. And actually, I think, you know, it's not that you're lying, it's just that you don't know. And uh, hold off on the T. I mean, I do have TTL uh, flash options with the Nissan. You know, I do. If I need more power than that, I'll grab an Nikon Speedlight. I don't really need TTL anymore. TTL is useful for quite a few things, uh, mostly for photojournalists. Um, you know, I'm sorry, but you need to learn how to use a Speedlight. You do. You need to learn how to use Speedlight. And there's uh, every dumb flash since the 1980s has a little uh, auto uh, cut off here and for use in auto mode but if you set the ISO and uh, you set your power level it'll cut it off in auto mode okay it senses a certain amount of life and it quenches the flash and uh, often it's better than a TTL flash photography is with this unit and pocket wizards I can do continuous burst photography so I'm not limited so this notion that you're somehow limited with the Fuji so far as speed light and you're definitely not limited this unit works absolutely no different for professional studio strobes than the Nikon does not even one percent different so that's BS uh, Nissan's coming out with a more powerful TTL speed light here it's gonna be at the end of July not an issue there this already has a uh, high-speed sync capability same as a Nikon does. Now this is not as powerful as an SB910. It's a lot smaller flash. It's actually, this is this is most of what I need. I mean, most of what I need for a speed light use is uh, about uh, 15 feet or less, and this is more than enough for that. So I'm not limited. I think I've made my point. So all the Fuji whiners out there, wah, 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 you know. You know your Fuji does work with Nikon speed lights, right? You know that, right? When it comes to slapping a wireless trigger on there, get yourself a Nikon Speedlight for your Fuji. There's a lot of these on eBay. This is the one I recommend because it's uh, the most reliable, compact, power-wise, reliability, size-wise. The SB28. 40 bucks all day long, usually. It was one hell of a Speedlight. This thing will keep rocking and rocking and rocking. Doesn't have TTL mode. You don't have TTL anyway if I use this thing wirelessly. So who gives a damn? You know? So, Fuji users, stop whining. Enjoy your Fuji. You are not limited or constrained or shackled or bound or in bondage when it comes to speed light and studio strobe options. You're not. It's just BS. Okay? Thanks so much. Bye! Adios. Hasta la vega.